everyone. My name is Charlotte Waters, here again, Communications Manager for Legal Services of North Florida. So glad you guys are joining us today. As many of you may know or may not know, Legal Services of North Florida is a private nonprofit law firm. We help eligible clients across 16 counties in North Florida. But we are here to talk about Jazz for Justice, which is tonight. It'll be tonight from 8 to 10 p.m. Central Time. And I will tell you at the end of this all the different ways that you can access the event this evening. We're going to talk with Casey O'Rourke, who is part of Flow Tribe. He is the vocalist and trumpet player with them. Welcome, Casey. Hello, Charlotte. Great to be here and great to be with the wonderful organization of Legal Services in North Florida, doing such incredible work <laughs> in Florida. Always a pleasure to be a part of this event. Thank you. That was a great, it was a better introduction than I, I had. That was awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> so first thing I really would love to get started on is you guys have quite a history, especially you. I would love to know a little bit more about Flow Tribe and your musical background. Sure. Well, Flow Tribe started in 2004. We all went to the same high school, just a bunch of crazy 18 year olds. And then we all kind of left. And then Hurricane Katrina hit in uh, 2005. So I was actually in Alabama at the time. And it was just one of those moments where I was like, I really like what we're doing with the music and I want to give it an actual shot. So, you know, that adversity, that that tragedy of Hurricane Katrina kind of galvanized us to come back to New Orleans, give it a go. And, and pretty much since that time, we've just been steadily building. I mean, it's crazy to think about, you know, so almost 15 years doing this now. I used to be young. And uh, <laughs> and now it's it's just a great, you know, it's it's a great group of musicians and uh it's crazy that we've stayed friends this this whole time. And although, you know, sometimes I wanna, you know, teach of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean we're brothers, but at the same time, it's it's been a great musical journey from playing Jazz Fest in New Orleans to touring the country multiple times, New York, California, Key West. I mean literally anywhere in between. So it's, it's been a wild ride and, you know, I, I'm very grateful for that and, and, and grateful to be a part of events like this that help so many people. And, you know, especially charities close to our hearts with, uh, you know, uh, anything against animal cruelty, uh, SBCA, that, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, we just like to give back and this is a wonderful opportunity to do that. Awesome, Casey. We're so excited to have you um, in this year's event. So, you know, it sounds like you guys have had quite the history, you know, 15 years, which uh, if, if you're old, I don't even, well, I don't know what that makes me. So we're, we're not going to talk about that. Um, still, but, no, we still got it. We still got some juice. <laughs> right. You guys still got the energy. I drag just a little bit less in the morning. Uh, so tell us a little bit, you know, we, you guys have been working together for 15 years now, performing. Um, what about some of the musical influences that have helped develop the sound that you have now? Definitely. Well, being from New Orleans, we kind of had a dual musical education. So, you know, I grew up in the 90s, which was like Sublime, Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Smashing Pumpkins, all, all those guys. But then also, Growing up in the city, there's this rich traditions of, of brass bands, the Rebirth Brass Band, or Alan Toussaint, Dr. John, kind of that New Orleans R&B and funk stuff. So we kind of got this dual track of music. And, you know, for me personally, growing up on the New Orleans side of things, it was always just about that rhythm and, and that inclusiveness that comes from New Orleans music. So that's something that we always try to, to do, especially when we're playing live is you know, bring the crowd in and, and really try to make them a part of the experience as much as possible. And, and, and to kind of dissolve those barriers between where the music, the musicians, you know, start and the crowd ends. We just want it to be one big, you know, one big uh, musical thing. So, uh, yeah, for me, it's definitely like people like Irma Thomas, uh, Alan Toussaint, like I said, uh, the meters, you know, a lot of New Orleans bands, but also, you know, different national bands as well. So uh, we really just try to, take inspiration from wherever it comes. Well, speaking of the music and how it sounds, I'd love to give everyone a little bit of a preview of what they're gonna see tonight. So uh, <laughs> this is a preview of uh, Jazz for Justice's headliner flow try this evening. I'm 
She's like, back here, damn it. <laughs> that doesn't sell it for folks. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. So uh, we heard you singing. So tell us a little bit about being a trumpet player. So not only are you a vocalist, but you're also a trumpet player. Right. Yeah, that's just something I started. At my my uh, elementary school had a really good uh, band program. And so one of those things where I, I just played, I started playing trumpet really early and I always enjoyed it. And uh, going back to the New Orleans music thing with Louis Armstrong and guys like Louis Prima, where it's like they kind of have this tradition of lead singers that play trumpet and sing. So I definitely drew off of that a little bit. But it is it is funny because I, I mean primarily like you know I write uh, songs on piano, but you know it's hard to write a song on trumpet and be like wait do I sing here you know so <laughs> I, I I play the trumpet oh, kind of just like little accent stuff but you know primarily I'll write the songs on piano and then translate it and, and try to figure it out so it is but trumpet is a, is a really fun instrument and I I love playing that but it is it is weird sometimes where I'm like all right am I Doing this? Am I singing? Yeah. <laughs> I know you're all over the place. Get a little confused, yeah. <laughs> well, and we'll get to hear a little bit of that tonight as well. Uh, yeah. You do kind of feature the trumpet, which was kind of fun and surprising when I got a preview, um, and I, I enjoyed that. So you've kind of thrown out some different musical influences that have been a part of not only your um, sort of musical musical trajectory, but the organ, uh, the Flow Tribe band as a, as a whole. Is there anyone in particular, like one dream artist, you know? alive or not that you would just love to perform with or make music with we did have an opportunity which was pretty much my dream come true uh, about three years ago at uh tipitina's in new orleans we got to play with uh, alan tucson he, he passed away i guess well he passed away about four years ago so it must have been like five years ago but he, he was just a great musician composer band leader everything so getting to play with him was was fantastic i mean if I had a choice, I mean, like dream all time, I would say like Louis Prima is like a huge influence on me. So like, I mean, that would be unbelievable to do that. But maybe like currently living, um, I don't know, maybe like Wynton Marcellus. I mean, great uh, jazz trumpet player. That'd be really cool. Um, Bonnie Raitt, big Bonnie. I actually met Bonnie Raitt once, uh, tried to buy her a drink, didn't really work out. She's so... <laughs> Kind of a, it's like, hey, let me get you a drink. She's like, I don't drink, but thank you so much. I was like, well, I, I have nothing else. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't, you like popcorn? I'm going to make you some popcorn. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you can only do what you can do. <laughs> yeah, in those situations, you just let them do their thing. And I'm not trying to bother you, but. I mean, <laughs> hey, but at least that's a good story. You could say you tried. So. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, you know, talking a little bit about your your, your dream artist and, and your influences, you know, what about, like, what are you listening to right now? I mean, besides your own music, because it's great. But is there anything, like, what's your top song on Spotify? You know, what, what's going on there? As a true narcissist, I exclusively only listen to my own music. <laughs> Constant rotation. I love myself. Um, <laughs> I listen to a lot of older stuff, to be honest. I'm not super hip on uh, what's happening right now. I mean, I, I listen to a lot of records, a lot of Ella Fitzgerald. I listen to a lot of old jazz. You know, for some reason, I mean, it doesn't make me sound cool, but, you know, when I come home, if I'm trying to wind down, Louis Armstrong, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Errol Garner, a great jazz piano player. Um, but, I mean, I like to get a little rock and roll, too, a little Tom Petty, all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think currently – there's anything there's Callie Uchis, who's relatively new. She's cool. And she's got some, some, some cool stuff she does. But like I said, I'm not super tapped in. I'm basically a 70 year old man trapped inside of a 34 year old. <laughs> body. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, this, I should be on a cruise in Miami. Right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What a cruise musician. I mean, That's is that silk thing. or satin? You, you know, I think it's polyester. I love it. <laughs> It's that's, highly highly flammable. That's all I know. Oh, highly flammable. That's great. Do not put a candle near me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll be we'll be really Keep careful. Luckily, this is virtual because I. Yeah. Personally. No, this is probably safer this way. Um. So, so what about just like you know everything's a little bit different right now. You know we're all kind of in different places. Like you said, we're having this virtually. Our event is virtual. Um. <laughs> you know it's been interesting to see what people have been getting into. You know, being home during um, you know COVID nineteen, has there been anything that you've gotten into that maybe is a little different this year in twenty twenty? 
Um, I basically just remodel, not remodeled, but painted everything in my house. You know, <laughs> it was like no, because I, I mean, it's really rare for me to be home this much. I mean, normally we're on the road like you know three, four days a week, and and so it's normally I'm just popping in and I'm looking around. I'm like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I could do. So really, I've just been yeah, just you know gardening a lot weirdly i mean i was not really into gardening before but now i'm like super into plants and uh you know different things i, like I don't know anything about that so <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> got a nice little forest but yeah i was doing that i mean watching tv obviously luckily we have a studio in new orleans so that's been a great outlet for going in there and trying to stay as creative as possible and obviously not having that connection with the we're very much a live band so not having that connection with the audience uh, has been a little bit of a bummer, but at the same time, you know, we want everybody to be safe. We don't want to do anything that's going to put people in jeopardy and whatever's the right time to come back. We will obviously financially it's, it's tough, but, um, you know, hopefully people will start coming around. Hopefully the powers that be will, you know, <laughs> kind of take care of us a little bit more, but we'll see. I mean, honestly, I'm really worried about independent venues. That's, that's a real concern. Um, places like Tipitina's and just, smaller venues that are not run by these larger corporations. I mean, that we might not have a place to play is kind of the scary part. So, you know, hopefully it all shakes out and, 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 and there's a, there's a path forward, but you know, it's just a very uncertain time. So we're just trying to navigate that as best as possible. Well, and we're really excited to, to have you as, as part of this event and kind of bring, you know, you back into people's living rooms in a different way. And, you know, that's been, it's been really um, awesome to, to kind of see that process. So, you know, you guys, you said you, you've been in the studio making music. So what's going on with you guys? I hear that you guys recently had an album drop. Yeah, we did. Uh, October 16th, we released our third or fourth. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> some, I think it was like the third, fourth album. Can't fourth. keep up. There's so many. Yeah, I don't know. You know, all these things, they just, they just happen. Uh, it's called Loteria Cosmica. And uh, basically it's, kind of an appropriate title for 2020, just the, the roll of the dice. And, you know, that's kind of the theme, the overall theme of the album is just dealing with all the, you know, lo love, loss, uh, you know, highs, lows, the whole shebang. So, and uh, I think a lot of the songs touch on that and, 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 and kind of go through that perspective of just life's journey. And, you know, like I said, coming up on our like 15th anniversary, it's kind of appropriate too to just be like, take a step back and be like, wow, look at, Look at all the stuff we've done and and uh, just just the overall journey. So it, it's been great. And the album's been getting some really positive reviews. So that that's always nice. And and it was a weird thing for us, too, because we're like, how should we even release an album right now? Because normally you would release an album and then tour off of that. So it's just the strategy is a little weird. But at the same time, we have been writing so much music that I just felt like, well, let's get this out and then. 2021 i mean we basically have a whole nother album ready to go so it's uh but please listen to this one enjoy it lotharia cosmica uh, streaming on all services uh wherever you want to get get music it's it's probably there so okay cool and you know we're, we're talking with you today but tell tell me a little bit about your bandmates i know you said you know you guys went to high school together but you know if you don't mind just tell us a little bit about who they are and you know what instruments they play yeah not at all uh we have Mario Palmisano on guitar, lead guitar, a uh, great guy. Just uh, he also likes to. He's, he's, a, he's a chef as well. He does makes pizza, and I mean, not to uh, stereotype him as an Italian, but he makes some great Italian food. I mean, <laughs> guy's great. Makes wine too. He's pretty well. We got Brian Santos, uh, another guitar player, uh, just uh, amazing musician, great person. John Michael Early plays the harmonica, the keyboard, and the the washboard. So he's kind of a jack of all trades. And then we got Scott Sibley on the drums. We call him the bear because he has a full beard and he's very cuddly. Sorry. And, <laughs> sorry, he is. And then Darian Hodge, he's our, our newest addition on bass, 25-year-old wonder kid. So uh, it's nice to have a little uh, fresh blood <laughs> in the band. But, yeah, he's great, and he's been a nice addition. So really it's just it's it's a real pleasure to work with with, with these different musicians and and these guys always bring their their A game, and that makes me want to, you know, do the best that I can. So it's it's kind of a nice thing to be able to have these people pushing you, and especially during such an uncertain time where it's like, you know, if a band doesn't have shows, is it a band kind of thing? So <laughs> a tree falls in the woods, you know, one of those deals. But it's been great, and I think it's kind of underlined our resolve to keep making music that affects people in a positive way. 
And that's really just the goal. We just want to spread as much joy and bring a little light, you know, out there. That's kind of our kind of our deal. Well, that's awesome. And uh, I definitely think it will. I was jamming out to the music earlier. Um, I've just been kind of listening to your set on repeat as we put oh, nice. for <laughs> tonight's event. So it's been really fun. And I've really enjoyed the new music you guys have put out there. So um, Casey... Thank you so much for joining us today and you know being part of this year's event. We really appreciate it over at Legal Services of North Florida. Um, and just so everyone knows, Jazz for Justice is tonight. And there are many different ways you can access it. <clears throat> so if you're on the west coast of North Florida, you can listen to the program on WWF 88.1. One FM. You can also watch it on Cox Channel 4 and 1004 HD, but you can also watch it on three other channels, Spectrum Channel 98, MediaCon Channel 98, and AT&T UVerse Channel 99. Uh, if you're not on the West Coast, you can actually watch it online as well. So you can go to Legal Services of North Florida's Facebook page and watch it live. You can also, it'll be premiering on our YouTube page as well, and WWF's Facebook page will also be premiering it. So there is no excuse for everyone out there not to be watching tonight's program and seeing Flow Tribe and the rest of the game that's going to be um, premiered uh, in this event. So thank you again, Casey, so much for being Thanks, a part. Um, yeah, and we hope to see everyone else tonight.